The problem is the batteries. The kind of batteries you see here in these boxes right here still cost anywhere between 10,000 and 15,000 euros, which is about what a complete compact car sells for today, i.e. batteries plus electric vehicle add up to about 30,000 euros. The semiconductor industry could make an important contribution to solving this dilemma by developing the appropriate components. The problem here is that in a vehicle, 100 or more single cells need to be series connected in order to achieve a combined operating voltage of 400 volt for the motors from typical 3.6 volt single cell loads. The single cell loads are now linked in a chain, i.e. you need to stop once the first one is fully charged and you need to stop the car once the first one is completely discharged during driving in order to avoid a deep discharge. We have now developed a method for high precision voltage measuring, i.e. whenever differences in charging status are detected, we are able to reroute energy from highly charged cells into weak cells to recreate a balanced state. Once I am able to actively reroute energy from fully charged cells into empty cells, which is precisely what our method is all about, I create a distinct win-win situation. We have noted, for example, a 10% increase in range during trips and even an increase in lifespan, i.e., we have extended the window where a battery block needs to be replaced because the batteries are worn out. It's actually possible to extend battery block lifetime by another 10% through well-aimed sustaining of weak cells, which translates into additional cost savings.